Yes. Yes, I am happy right now. I have this kind of unsure feeling, so maybe. Well, definitely, yes. I am happy. Yes. I don't think so. Mental health has emerged as an important public health concern in recent years. With a high proportion of children and adolescents affected by mental disorders, it is important to ensure that they are provided with proper care and treatment. However, in the Philippines, especially with the advent of the COVID-19 pandemic, more Filipinos display poor mental health characterized by the feeling of loneliness and hopelessness which sometimes lead to depression, anxiety, and other mental disorders. Indeed, a recent survey revealed that mental illness is the third most common disability in the Philippines. Around 6 million Filipinos are estimated to live with depression and or anxiety. This makes the Philippines the country with the third highest rate of mental health problems in the Western Pacific region. Another thing is that suicide rates are estimated at 3.2 per 100,000 population. Despite these alarming figures, discussion about mental health has remained a stigma in the country. Truly? Government spending on mental health is only 0.22% of total health expenditures intensified by the lack of health professionals working in the mental health sector. Family members rejecting their family member who is suffering mental health problems. The public believe that depression and anxiety are non-existent and that mental illnesses are something to be ashamed of. Unrealistic pessimism and optimism given by the people instead of providing real and proper help. And lastly is the oversimplified chronic course, wherein people without mental illnesses views people who are mentally ill to recover after a few days or months. But what is mental health and why an open discussion about this is relevant and important? Mental health includes our emotional, psychological, and social well-being. It affects how we think, feel, and act. It also helps determine how we handle stress, relate to others, and make healthy choices. But. This should not be the reason why we should not involve ourselves in pushing for mental health awareness. To conclude, the Philippine World Health Organization Special Initiative for Mental Health conducted the early part of 2020 shows that at least 3.6 million Filipinos suffer from one kind of mental, neurological, and substance use disorder. This is alarming. Break the stigma.